Why are Richmond residents some of the healthiest in Canada? Today on the Express, we've got your guide to this city's good life. On today's show. All right, are we ready to roll? The Oval's new fitness scene. Can you hold it for 10 more seconds here? Just chop it up like that. A tasty tour of culture days. Casual, you can have a dressy look. Travel tips from jet lag travel. I've done a fair bit of traveling, and the worst thing that can happen is your shoes will wear out. Volunteering with the Steveston lifeboat crew. Bridge Wheel House. You're going to go a little bit faster. Here we go. Hold on. Whoa. See that and more local expression. Oh. Welcome to our Express Richmond special. I'm Johanna Ward at the Olympic Oval. We're going to work up a sweat today on the show with some of the new fall programming after we tell you about something else that's new. From food to theater to even interesting artifacts, Richmond is hosting its very own cultural festival. And we have a look at what's coming up. Come on right out onto the stage. Richmond is getting ready to host Culture Days, a toast to the city's art scene. It's an opportunity for the public to see behind the scenes in arts and culture. Richmond has more sites than any community in BC right now, with more coming. Culture Days is happening across the country and cities are highlighting their most popular attractions. Richmond's Gateway Theatre is just one of the city's sites. You're going to see Gateway Theatre, our local community theatre, professional theatre, see how they put on plays, tour backstage, which is a very rare experience for you to actually see behind stage. Typically we'll have a male dressing room and a female dressing room um, and we can handle up to about 15 people in these rooms. The tour will show you backstage where the sets get finishing touches, the actors get dressed and right on stage to feel what it's like to be an actor and feel the lights. I brought out a few more objects here for you to see. This is one of our recent donations. This is probably from around the 1950. Then we're going to go to an extremely rare experience, which is seeing R Richmond Museum's archives where all the artifacts are stored. When the in-between exhibits, they store the artifacts there, and the public has never has a chance to see this. From antique typewriters to funeral vases, the Richmond Museum's archives give tour participants a glimpse into the city's rich history. We really look for items that represent the whole population instead of just typically what you might see at a pioneer type museum. An interactive stop on the tour is at the Terranova Rural Farm, where Ian Lai will put you to work. Kids and adults can try their luck stoning wheat or they can help make some homemade apple vinegar. We just chop it up like that and what we'll do is we will chop all these apples up, all the cores will go back in the compost, uh, these will go into the new container. So we'll wash them and we'll put them in here and we'll fill it with water. Like a, a winemaker, you'll taste it and you go, okay, the apples are very sour, I need to add more sugar. We have over half, uh, half a million dollars worth of costumes. Richmond has a diverse community, we have a diverse population, and culture is very important to the fabric of a community. And it's not just an opportunity to see what Richmond's about, it's about seeing it all. You could go to Burnaby in the morning, come to Richmond in the afternoon, and go to White Rock the next day, and you'll experience arts and culture across BC. In Richmond, I'm Melanie Panetta for The Express. Culture Days is happening September 24th to the 26th, and so you know the Richmond Museum is working on a special exhibit called the 2010 Olympic Collection. And you can expect a big nod to the Oval with that, hey? It's one of the biggest legacies from the Games, and also one of the best spots to meet your September fitness goals. The newly expanded center, it looks fantastic. Thanks. Yeah. How big is it now? We're now 23,000 square feet. Wow. Yeah. So you've added a lot of extra areas then? We have. We've sectioned off the fitness center, divided it off into different pots, progressing from beginner to intermediate to advanced. So just 
added to our fitness center is our Techno Gym Inclusive line, which is a line of strength equipment for people with disabilities or with limited mobility. We have a swing away seat. So for anyone that might be in a wheelchair, they can easily bring their wheelchair up to the piece of equipment and do their chest press. If someone has use of only one arm, they could sit down and do a single arm shoulder press like so, or anyone without a disability can join in as well. So it's, yeah, it's great. Also new to the expanded fitness center, Pilates reformer classes. So what's the difference doing it on the reformer versus the mat? The difference basically is that certain exercises that some individuals can't perform on the mat, they'll be able to do it on the reformer. It aids them into doing the exercises. That's and it's, pretty much what it is. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is so a fun. fun. Yeah. I like it, you know, having on there and feeling a little bit of that pull. You yeah. really yeah. makes you a little more aware of what's going on. Yeah. Inhale, nice and long across the chest. It's a great way to train the core, and it's also a very safe way to train the core. So you're on the Freedom Climber, a rock climbing <laughs> trainer <laughs> so that cool. rotates counterclockwise and clockwise, and it works on your grip strength, on your core, and uh, it requires virtually <laughs> no supervision at all. Wow. Yeah. And what happens if you speed it up? If I speed it up, you're going to go a little bit faster. Here we go. Yeah. I'm hanging out in the middle. It's the easy part. So fun. It's like, oh. <laughs> You can test drive the registered programs here at the Richmond Olympic Oval. Starting the week of September 13th, they're offering free demo classes. That's also when the new drop-in schedule starts. And later on today's Express, we're going to try out one of their popular group fitness classes called Rock and Row. Right now, it's time to fly to a Steveston institution, jet lag travel. Whether you like it or not, fall is almost here, and that means it's time to start planning those beach vacations. And we've got the top three items you've got to have in your suitcase. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Bianca. Welcome to Jet Lake Boutique. Jet Lag Fashion Boutique is a Steveston institution and the perfect place to get vacation ready. All of our fashions are designed to be compatible with both everyday living as well as travel, which means they're easy care and they're easy to wear. It's a part of the community. The store is a place where women can come to find clothes that fit their bodies. Our top three musts have from head to toe start with the hard to pack hat. I brought a Panama hat when I was in Mexico once, and I treasured that hat, but it had to go in the overhead bin because I was afraid to put it in a suitcase. Vicki, we're starting at the top with hats. There's something unique about these ones though, right? Yes, they're crushable. Mm -hmm. They don't look like they are, but they no. will fit in your luggage, and they just compact down, mm -hmm. and they spring up again. These are really great because normally you've got to take these outside of your suitcase because they're so big and bulky, but even this one, I guess you can just crush down. What do you not leave home without when you go traveling? Well, if I'm traveling to a warm climate, for sure, I've got to have my bathing suit and a nice cover-up. Okay, this is a really great piece. It's a must-have if you're going to the beach. This is called the Ceres, and it's an ultimate beach dress. It comes in a nice little travel package. And I'm going to get you to demonstrate this. This is great if I just want to grab a drink from the bar and I don't want to wear my bikini there. Nice little cover. I've done a fair bit of traveling and the worst thing that can happen is your shoes will wear out or maybe they'll break. You need really reliable, comfortable shoes. I used to take a lot. Now I try to take three pair. I don't know about you, Vicki, but uh, most of my suitcase is filled with shoes when I go away. That's the case with a lot of women. It's hard to leave behind a pair of shoes because you want something to coordinate with each outfit. Exactly. But this line is super. It's called One Soul. Mm -hmm. And what it is basically is you choose your soul. Mm -hmm. and we have different heights and colors. Yeah. One and one. then the tops snap on and off. Mm -hmm. And you're wearing some right now, right? I am, yes. It's as easy as taking the snaps off, actually. And they're also awesome for a pedicure. My mom does a really good job looking after her community, and I think that's really important. You know, you can come in on a bad day and have a cup of tea and just hang out. I think it's a great spot for ladies in the community. Vicky's store is also home to yoga and Pilates classes and a women's travel club. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Steveson for The Express.
Jet lag travel also carries the cure for, you guessed it, jet lag. They sell liquid oxygen, which helps with headaches and fatigues on those long flights. And you know what else helps? Staying fit. That's the body and the brain. And we've got more of that coming up from Richmond after the break. We're going to go for 15 seconds. After the break, group rowing at the Richmond Olympic Oval. Remember to breathe. This is the tough part. Race games at Rush Arcade. You race, and afterwards, there's so much to talk about. You're watching local TV on the Express.